Hi YouTube, welcome to Shimmer Girl Talks. Today I'm going to address a question that I have received on more than one occasion. And it's gonna be like maybe a two or three parter, um, meaning um, I'm also gonna add to that the men ain't shit trope and Tyler Perry. Okay, because I saw that term in one of his TV shows. Okay, the reason why I address women is because A, I am a woman. And B, at the end of the day, I know that women are ultimately the ones who are complaining about um, no good men, no good men left, um, ain't shit men, fuck boy, excuse my language. And I also look at these same women who profess to be so smart and highly educated and this and that, and they still fall for the okie doke. Now, if you know that men are these things that you say that they are and you still jump in the bed with them after three days of knowing him or three weeks of knowing him or whatever the time frame is for people out there. And then you act surprised when you find out, oh, he's married. Oh, he got a woman. Oh, he got five baby, five baby mamas. OK, but you didn't get you didn't take the time to get to know him. There are a lot of reasons why I address women because I'm I'm tired of seeing the, I don't want to say hypocrisy, but I'm just tired of seeing pre, um, preventable situations. Um, so mentioning the men ain't shit trope and, okay, so that was in a Tyler Perry show, Sisters. And if you're not familiar with Sisters, it's on BET and it's about four black women educated good job nice house car you know the whole shebang and they have it all together except for that one good man in their life and going off on a tangent if you've noticed about Tyler Perry's works his male female <clears throat> characters across the board in his shows tend to have a very, very toxic dynamic. But if you also notice his same sex uh, relationships, um, not romantic relationships, but you know, friendships are very loving and caring and healthy. And so I don't know what he witnessed as a man growing up, a young boy growing up, you know, with the opposite sexes, you know, trying to be married or in a relationship, but his stuff is, is kind of toxic. And I think that's one reason why so many women, you know, in particular love his show sisters. And yes, it is a good show, but, um, there was a, um, scene the other day and which brought me, um, which is why I wanted to do this video and that is um, when one of the characters, Danny, I believe, said, yep, mm -hmm, yep, men ain't shit. And I look at these women who, in my opinion, are just as trifling as these men. You have um, a woman on there who is knowingly sleeping with a married man. You have two other women on there who have this man over here that they're in and out of a relationship with, still sleeping with. Then you have this man over there who wants to be in a relationship with her and they're going to eventually sleep together. And then she's going to be sleeping with these two different men and stuff. And I just find it just kind of ironic that women want to call men dogs and ain't shit when they're doing the exact same thing. And I think some women tend to have this, um, if you can't beat them, join them. But when you have that mindset, a lot of times you're the one that ends up being hurt, especially later on in life when you decide, oh, I want to settle down and, you know, be a wife now. But then you have this whole list of skeletons of men behind you. And, you know, and a lot of stuff that goes into that. So but that that's another topic for another day. As a matter of fact, if I end up doing an OnlyFans page i'll probably post it there because a lot of things that i want to address in our community and about you know my gender and stuff um 
it's not, it might not be well received. You know, this might not even be well received. And again, I talk to women because we're the ones who are often the ones on TV and social media and all of that stuff crying about ain't no good men out here, you know, um, you know, but that's, that's what I wanted to talk about today. So I will definitely be back with another video and, and I know I've made promises before and I do want to thank my new subscribers again and I hope you all have a great day. Bye.